Anyway, it was a bad dream. And I remember, this is such a 1960s memory, I sort of stumbled out of bed. I was probably six years old. I might mm-hmm. have been five years old. But mm-hmm. don't think for a minute kids don't know all the themes that adults deal with. Because I had all of that in this dream. It's not, it's not like they don't get it. They do get it. They see and watch and feel it. So I stumbled out, and I was terrified to even express this dream. It was such a bad one. And my dad, and my mom and dad were having a little cocktail party, 1960s style. And I think my dad had a turtleneck on and a blazer. Think and, Ad Man. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Or and is he, it Mad Man? Yeah. I can't remember the. Yeah. yeah. And he was do, making a um, mint julep. No, it was a uh, cream de mint. It had like a f- layer of cream. I'm watching him do this in the parties over there. And he says, oh, what are you doing up? And I said, um, I had a bad dream. And he said, oh, what was it? What was your dream? And I said, I can't tell you. And he said, oh, no, why? And I said, because you'll be mad at me. I'll get in trouble. And he said, no, you can't get in trouble for having a dream. Your dreams, you can't get in trouble for those. And I remember that momentous anxiety as it welled up as I finally blurted out the dream. Mm-hmm. And because he was kind of the bad guy in this dream, he really laughed. He laughed. Uh-huh. But, he, but he gave me the best gift, and, and two gifts. One is he was compassionate and curious as a parent and mm-hmm. as a human being toward me um, with whatever it was I was finding overwhelming. That's very important for us to not ever lose that curiosity in each other, I don't think. Um, Second of all, he let me know that you can't get in trouble for your dreams, that that is an area of you where you are learning and capable of experiencing a serious impact, actually, without it being uh, right here and now where we can get blamed for our choices. This is a different arena of human experience. Yeah.